How to start a dump truck company and make $252,000 with one truck. Hi, my name's Nate Jones. I make content on business, how to start businesses, and which businesses you should start. So if you get value out of this video, I, I ask that you like and subscribe. Okay, so let's hop into this. We're going to talk through the costs associated with it, how much you can make. We're going to break it down by load, by week, by month, and by year. And then we're going to talk through some pitfalls that you're going to want to avoid doing if you're going to be successful in this business. And then we're also going to talk through why you should scale this business to really grow it up to maximize your revenue. And then at the end, we're going to talk about some really important things that you're not going to want to miss. So stay tuned this whole video here. Okay, so we're going to talk through the cost. I was looking up dump trucks nationwide, and I kept coming to the same number for for a decent truck that isn't new. So if you buy a new truck, it could be over $250,000, okay? So I was like, how can we get in the game because it's so profitable to get in this game? How can we get in there with a decent truck? And a decent truck is gonna cost you about $100,000, okay? And most, if you have decent credit, most dealerships, most banks, if you have a CDL, are gonna loan you up to 90% of that. So you're gonna have to put 10% down. So for 100 grand, you're gonna have to put $10,000 down. That's gonna give you a loan of $90,000, a six year note on that, which most people should be able to get six year notes, would put you at about 1,500 a month for your loan payment. Okay, we're also gonna have to get insurance, insurance depending on where you're located. Um, I put it at around $10,000 because in, in certain states it's more, certain states it's actually less. So depending on your state, you can look at that. But um, insurance can be about 10,000 for the year, which is 833 a month. Gas, you're gonna probably go through 425 gallons of gas, maybe less, maybe more every month. It's really hitting us hard this month. Right now I'm in 2023, diesel is, you know, really expensive right now, so that's gonna put you at about 1,900 a month. So a lot of people don't realize that are outside of the trucking industry that gas prices really do impact your bottom line. So almost 2,000 a month just in gas, that's insane. That's your biggest expense right there is your gasoline, um, you know, eclipsing the loan right now. So our total costs for the month are gonna be $4,233, um, which is gonna put us about 50,796,000 for the year. And I know I've probably let you down. You're like, oh my gosh, it's so many expenses. Get to the money, Nate. We wanna talk about the money. Let's talk about the cash flow, the money, the revenue. Okay, let's get into this. How much money can we make? So I was looking up, what's the average rate per load for a Traxel dump truck? Starts around 160, top end is about $200. Could be less, could be more. So I said an average load of about $175 a load would be a great place to run our numbers and run our analysis. And then the average loads per day that we can do probably at the high end is gonna be around five loads a day. And if we run six days a week, cause most, I see a lot of companies running on Saturday, great day to run, the, the roads aren't as busy, um, you don't have the rush hour traffic, probably still get five loads in on Saturday, having a little bit shorter day, maybe less. So if you do five loads a day, six days a week, that's 30 loads a week, putting us at a weekly income of $5,250 a week on a monthly basis, that puts us at $21,000, okay? So if we do that every month, that puts us at $252,000 a year. That's a really good revenue. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things that determine on that, and that's every single week. So if we really dial it back, some weeks we could probably easily hit $200,000 on one truck in this business, okay? So let's go through the cash flow, right? We talked about the revenue, we talked about the expenses, but the most important thing in any business is your cash flow. Um, if you don't have profits, then you don't have a business. You're gonna eventually go out of business. Why are you staying in business if you don't have profit? Okay, so we have 21,000 a month in our revenue. We have 4,233 in our expenses, and we have $16,767 in profit a month. That's a really good profit level. We even have a buffer of, I would say, hey, if you're profiting 10,000 to 13,000 a month, you're doing really good in this business, maximizing that. You're probably around 16 to 17,000. So on, a, on an annual basis, our revenue is 252, our expenses 50,796. You throw in some maintenance and stuff on that. Um, profit's gonna be right around 200,000 for the year, $200,000 profit, that's pretty good. That allows you to really think about potentially scaling this business, right? When we have money left over in our business, we need to look at, hey, let's first pay ourselves a living wage, 
Let's make sure we can pay our bills. And then let's think about how we can expand and grow our business. Let's reinvest back into our business so we can eventually not be the only driver, not be the every single employee, because right now you're a one person operation. So if, if we can buy more trucks, we can add drivers and eventually you're gonna see yourself in the office not in the truck all day, right? And that's the that's the goal is that you can leave your business, step outside of your business and you're still making money. You can go on vacation and your business is still paying you, okay? So that's what we wanna to get to, that's the goal. The goal is to not have a job, to have a business, right? So. We need to find a way in which we add drivers and we compensate them either by the hour or by the load, okay? So you can either have independent contractors being compensated by the load or you can find a way in which you can pay those people by the hour, okay? So um, we're gonna we're gonna find a way to scale this business, continue to buy trucks. Like I said, you know, your down payment on this, your next truck could be even anywhere 10 to 20%, so you're putting another 20 to $30,000 back in the business on buying another truck. Okay, so as long as you can find that other driver, I would find another driver before you find another truck because um, you know I would want to have at least three to four drivers that I know that I can call that would be wanting to work for me. Okay, so um, that's what we need to do is we need to scale our business. The next thing we need to do is we need to think of all the ways in which our dump truck business can fail. It means, hey, we need to tear down this business, be the biggest critic of it, be the biggest jerk about it, and say, why would you start this business? Because if this happens, this happens, this happens, okay? So I was thinking of four things in this business, right? Number one, you can't get any loads. You don't get any loads, you have a dump truck, you're ready, you're DOT compliant, you got everything set up, um, but where are the loads? Well, the loads, that's because you didn't network. You didn't call their dump truck companies. You didn't call aggregate storage companies. You didn't call general contractors. You didn't call builders. You didn't call X, Y, and Z. Who is in charge of putting a dump truck on a load, okay? So you need to figure that out in your local area. Get in contact with those people. Get relationships. Get multiple relationships. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Somebody's going to feed you for a little bit, and then it's going to go cold, so you want to have multiple people where you can call and say, hey, you got any loads this week? I can give you loads. I can give you loads, right? So you want to make sure you set that up. Number two, no showing will put you out of business faster than anything else. If you say you're going to be somewhere to pick up some rock or some gravel and you consistently don't show up, um, they're going to never call you again because they're like, hey, why are we calling XYZ company? They never show up. And if they don't show up, then um, that's longer timeline until we have to find somebody else. So make sure you do what you say you're gonna do. If you do what you say you're gonna do in business, you beat out over half the people in business. So show up when you say you will. Uh, the next thing is safety and insurance. If you get into wrecks and you have to file claims on your insurance, you're not safety compliant, you get pulled over, you get DOT violations, that will put you out of business so fast because nobody will want to insure you, number one, or they're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay tons of money, twenty to thirty thousand a year, which is gonna get dial back your profitability, almost make you go out of business. Um, or number two, you're gonna be deemed uncompliant and potentially put out of service. So it doesn't matter, you can't just haul because you've had so many violations and you're you're just out of sorts. So make sure you have your safety and insurance. Look up the FMCSA website, DOT, look into your local state guidelines and make sure that you're with the right insurance company that will help you grow. Um, I own an insurance agency, I own Wexford Insurance, we work with dump truck companies, and I don't know how many policies we've had to clean up from another insurance agent, screwing it up because I don't know anything about dump truck, okay? Ne next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have drivers on deck, just in case we get sick, and we want to scale our company. So making sure that you're setting those relationships with people who have CDLs, getting around where they're at, putting um, ads out, working with a hiring company, trying to get those relationships so you can continue to grow your business. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to legal up our company. And what that means is, hey, um, you have a dump truck company. What you need to do is you need to create an LLC or a corporation that is going to be a legally separate entity from you. Because if something goes south in your business, you don't want people to come after your personal assets. You want to have your LLC completely separate from yourself. The next thing we need to do is we need to buy insurance. Go to a trucking insurance agent um, that focuses in construction and dump truck, right? So my agency, Wexford Insurance, we'd be happy to help you out. Um, we'd be happy to review your policy, even if we're not in your state. But that being said, um, make sure you work with somebody who's specialized in this. Because like I said, it is not something that anybody... Everybody can do only specialized agents you want to trust with your livelihood, with your business. Don't screw it up. Next thing is you need to make sure you have um, 
potentially an attorney to review the contracts and what you're getting involved in with these other dump truck companies, with these vendors that are giving you loads. Make sure that you have somebody on your side to make sure you're not getting screwed over and that you're going to get paid when they say you're going to get paid because um, some of these people won't pay you right away. They'll pay you down the road and then the money can never comes. And it says it in the contract that they have the right not to pay you for some reason, right? So make sure you get an attorney to look over that stuff. A lot of people don't do that and they usually go on the defensive and they're like, oh, I got screwed over. What can I do now? Well, it's too late. Make sure you plan ahead for that stuff. And then after that, commit to starting. So many people get so scared to start businesses, but what's the harm in trying? Okay, you start this business, it goes south, you sell your truck, you move on, right? But at least if you try, you put your head down and you have the potential of having a fleet of 200 to 500 dump trucks someday because you're able to reinvest back on your business and you were smart about your growth. And go check out other videos on my page. I post about entrepreneurship, business growth tactics, and how you can really maximize your money in today's world being an entrepreneur and um, how you can grow your business and have the freedom, financial freedom and freedom in your life. So hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much.